guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva DIY. Today I'm going to be doing another Cricut video and I'm going to be making a stencil to use on a DIY pillow. I had picked up uh, this, it's a curtain panel from Dollarama for $4 that I'm going to be using for my curtain. And I'm going to be hot gluing because if you watched my channel, I don't know how to sew, so I use hot glue to create beautiful pillows for my pillow covers for my decor or pillows for my decor. So I will be using the panel, and then I have several different paints. I have brown, orange, and red that I'm planning on using. I have a stenciling brush from Dollar Tree. And my cleric paint came from Dollarama as well. And then you're gonna need some hot glue. And because I'm making a pillow cover, I won't need stuffing, but you could also use some stuffing from an old pillow to stuff the pillow, or you can just use it as a pillowcase if you have an old pillow. So I'm gonna. Uh, make uh, create my uh, stencil now with the Cricut and I'm just using I signed up for a free trial of the Cricut design space uh, so the stencil that I'm gonna be creating is from the images that they offer for free if you have the membership so I wanted to kind of play around with it see if it was worth $13 a month and they give you a free one month trial so let's get started. So the design came from the Cricut and I just welded it and then I switched the, manu the to manual pressure because I was uh, to from manual pressure to more because I was using poster board that came from the path that I got from Cricut. And then um, and I also used the standard uh, mat instead of the light grip mat. Um, it came out really nice, it went smooth, it popped right off, however the little um, insides of the P and a couple other letters, um, because I didn't attach them beforehand, I had to tape them with some clear tape. That's something I have to work on. I know I watched the video, I just wasn't sure how, um, how to exactly do it, so that's something I'm going to have to practice with. So now that my stencil is ready, I am going to use the uh, Cricut mat as my uh, pillow frame. And then this cardboard I'm going to use for when I stencil to put in between once the pillow is assembled so that way the, color, the paint doesn't bleed through to the other side. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out my uh, pillow. I did not realize that it was, it had this lovely design on the outside of it. And it does go all the way around. It would have been nicer if it was um, flat, but uh, straight I mean, but that's okay. We'll make it work. Okay. So I have a, I have it folded here, so that way, that's one side that I don't have to worry about cutting out. And then I'm going to put this right here. Take a marker. do a rough outline for cutting. And you want to do this on the part that's going to be 
on the inside and that's uh, the, that's how you want to glue it too if you have different sides like this one is very smooth on one end and it's a little bit different on the other now I'm going to actually put my finger protectors because I know when I do this stuff, I always burn myself. And I'm going to leave this side completely open because of um, the stenciling. I don't want to, I want to be able to put that piece of paper inside a piece of cardboard so once it dries I'm going to flip it over have put in the piece of cardboard you can see right there and I'm going to put my just want to make sure that it's somewhat in the middle yeah and now I'm going to put my stencil here and I'm going to get my paint paints ready so I'm going to have my orange red and my brown so I'm going to start with stenciling my pumpkin and you want to dip and then take off you really don't want your brush to be overly saturated Just gently tap on some of the leaves because I think I'm going to mix up all the other colors in with the leaves as well. I'll wash my brush, dry it off well, and now I'm going to move on to my other color. Now you can also do this design on a iron on, cut it out with the Cricut and iron it on. Maybe one day I will have the Cricut press too. doing the brown over the leaves as well and now I'm going to do the red now with the red I'm not going overly heavy duty on cleaning because I don't mind if there's a little bit of brown on it now oh I like that I think some of the areas were a little bit wet for some reason but I think once that dries it should be pretty nice and now I'm going to just fill in the little spots where there was 
the tape that I was showing you that I should have done that in my design space but even if I did that in the design space I, a space I would still have to fill this in so I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to put my pillow inside of it and hot glue it and I don't know if you can see inside but it's a good thing I did have this here because otherwise it would leak right through okay so now that it's dry I have actually decided to stuff my pillow with all of this stuffing that I have and I'm just gonna rip it apart so it's not clumping anywhere Now to close this up, you have to fold both ends and hot glue it without burning yourself. It's a lot easier to do it if you just had a little tiny opening, but then you wouldn't be able to put the piece of uh, cardboard in. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like in my decor. So here it is. I think it turned out really cute. Um, the, the red got a little smudged, but that's not a big deal at all. I love the way it looks here. I think it's got the perfect coloring, but that's the beauty of it. You can make it any color you want. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would love it if you consider it subscribing and pressing the notification bell. And um, hope to see you guys in my next video. So until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.